Should we watch Mike's new video? Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. My best guess is that whomever sent him these DI tracks accidentally exported the guitar tracks as stereo. But rest assured, Reaper has a way to deal with this. I can highlight the media item and press F2 to open up the media item properties. Another method of accessing the media item properties is to double click the item. If we take a look at the middle section that's labeled as Take Properties, you'll notice a channel dialog at the bottom that's currently set to Normal. Clicking Normal reveals additional channel modes that I can use on this media item. This one in particular, again, has audio on the right side but nothing on the left. So I'll change this to Mono Right and Apply. And now we've got the much more familiar audio in the center. We'll click OK to get out of this dialog and do the same thing on the top track. I'll double click the item. And in this track, we've got audio on the left but nothing on the right. So I'll do the same process again, except this time I'll choose Mono Left and Apply. Click OK. And if I expand this track, we can see that both of these look normal now. So with my second track still in solo, I should be able to pan left to right and hear the sound move from left to right, as expected. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. I don't want to watch this entire video and take views away from him or anything like that. I'm just going to jump off this idea from this point in the video. So he's going to continue with talking about pan modes, changing the default pan mode. In my setup, I do something like that. So obviously double click, go to the take properties and change the, uh, the channel mode. I go one step further. And most of the time when you get files like this that are stereo, but should just be left channel only or something like that, it's usually just the left channel. So like if you're recording on a Zoom recorder, you only have one mic plugged in or you're, you're just closer on one mic out of the stereo pair. I just have a shortcut to do it. So if I have this file here, I press Control M, that's gonna just take the left channel. That's just going in here, channel mode, mono left. That's just the shortcut that I use. I don't have a shortcut for mono right because it's so rarely used. Go into the action list and go to take channel. Item properties, set take channel mode to mono, down mix. Take channel mode mono left, take mono mode right. And then three up to 64, I think you have the options for. And there's mode normal reverse stereo and you can do it for all takes with SWS actions. Lots of options there. And just as I'm talking about this, I'm thinking you could even set up a cycle action so that it cycles through these different modes. You would do that by going to the extension menu, cycle action editor, and let's make a new one. So right click anywhere, add cycle action, give it the name cycle first. If you don't name it with cycle, it'll just look like any other action in the action list. First go left, do left, then we'll do right. Hopefully you can see this. Doing left, then right, then we'll do down mix, reverse. I want these in a certain order. Reverse, and then we'll do finally normal. Almost done, we just need to add a step in between each one. So the first time we run this action, it will set the mode to mono left, then stop. Run the action again to that item, it will be right, then it will stop, down mix, then reverse stereo, back to normal. So we will apply that, so that adds it to the cycle action editor. It also adds it to the action list, so let's go to cycle take channel modes so i'll just do uh i'll just use my control m action for that and replace it and so we've got the cycle action we'll go through these steps so right now it's on channel mode mono so control m now it's left channel right channel down mix reverse stereo and back to normal uh, i would have bounced both sides to mono in case there is audio on both sides that's a pretty quick way of doing it. It's a little hard to tell like what mode you're on if you lose track of how many times you click the button. But yeah, that's a, a cycle for take channel modes inspired by Mike's new video. And uh, be sure to give him a like.